Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Going Medieval. I certainly hope you're having a good one because I'm excited to be back. Things in Thatcham are going pretty darn well indeed. I certainly can't complain. But I have been thinking, and I've been thinking about trying to make this place better. I've been thinking about trying to make this place better by building it grander. And I've been seeing these pictures of this game on the going medieval twitter and the things that people build are just amazing seriously it's it's nuts like look at this thing this is something someone built in this game that's incredible that's actually incredible that doesn't even look like we're playing the same game I mean, it's just kind of depressing coming back into my game and seeing all I've got here and all I've built. I've built, you know, the best thing I've got is this. Like, the the the, the two sections of... That's it. That's the best thing I've built. And it's... Oh, man. I I don't know. I want to get there someday. You know, that's... That genuinely, I want to try doing that kind of thing someday. But to do that, I feel like I'm going to have to do so much mining. But I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to do it. You know, I think what I'm going to do is set up a couple of uh, wood cutting orders there to take those trees down. And then I'm going to set up a mining order. And I'm going to say that we're going to start taking out all of this terrain in here to just slowly start getting us some resources. I'm not 100% sure what the resources are going to be. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be something I want to build with or that I can even build with. But... I'm going to do it regardless, and we're going to see how it ends up going, because, you know, I'd, I'd kind of like the resources, and I'd like to, uh, I'd like to think at least that it's going to be something I can, I can do some good building with. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of going to be the plan, is that we, we start tearing this out, and we see what we end up getting. We got some clay down there, which is, I imagine what, mo yeah, I imagine most of this is going to be clay, isn't it? Well, that's fair enough. We can build out of clay, right? We can do... Yeah, we can do clay walls. They're not exactly amazing, but they're fine, I guess. They're, they're certainly something. So we can maybe do, I don't know, some clay houses with wooden roofs. Or so. I, I don't know. I don't really know what we're going to do, but we'll do it eventually. Uh, we do need other things as well, though. We really, I think, anyway... We really do need to start looking into armor. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, we do, of course, have some weapons as it stands. You know, we can get uh, we can get better ones too. And I feel like we should probably set up a bit of a job to uh, to make some better weapons. So let's go ahead and just craft up. I don't know five of those spears, and we'll do five cudgels as well, and just see if they end up being any good. If they're not, we'll probably scrap them. But uh, getting those done will be in our best interest, I reckon, because, uh, well, that's just going to be, just plain and simple, going to be in our best interest. Uh, in terms of other things, it would be kind of nice to, well, it would be nice to look into armor. It would be nice to be able to look after ourselves a little bit. Defensive structures, I'm not too worried about. Clay brick making and stone block cutting, I mean... If I want anything similar to that castle on Twitter, then frankly, man, I got work to do. I got work to do. That's all I can say is, uh, it's, that's, that's a long way away, but you know, maybe, maybe one day, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll certainly see. For right now, I'm not going to stress too much. We are, you know, comfortably into spring. We've almost got all these trees planted, which is great. We'll have all these fields down here to go through as well. Well, actually, they're about halfway done anyway, so that's that's fine. We have our walls as they are already, so it's, it's fine. It's not going to be the end of the world, right? It's just going to be a process, and that's that's how this, this game is going to be. Uh, I do want to take that tree down, though, and I do want to take that one down. And I want to take that one and that one, and that little one too. And I'm just going to take the trees kind of generally away from my walls to make sure that they're, you know, not growing right up against them like that, or right up against a building like that. I just want to make sure the place is nice and neat. 
and make sure that it's uh, nicely looked after. Now, this is kind of cool seeing this all coming together. That's always good. It's not exactly what I'd like to be prioritized right now, but that's cool regardless. Can we maybe get you to prioritize... Building is unstable because it's placed on stability zero. Oh. Um, can you... Need to clear area first. Are you serious? Okay, Uthred, can you come over here and uh, haul that to the stockpile, please? Because that's that's holding up the construction of this building, and that's kind of frustrating me. So we'll get that out of there. Uh, Florence, you can come over here and prioritize that construction, if you wouldn't mind. And then we'll be able to at least finish one of these workshops, which would be... No, 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 don't deconstruct. That's not what I wanted. Construct the roof, please. And then we want to cancel deconstruction of that table because that's not at all what I want to do. But if we can get that roof on there, then this should be considered an actual workshop, right? There it is, which gives us 120% production speed on uh, bows in here. So let's produce... I mean, we have 15 right we we have 15 bows that's that's kind of a lot are they any good i mean that one's that one's good which is nice what's what's yours sturdy is sturdy better than good what's the dps on this 2.22 100 and 18 meters versus 2.22 18 and what was the range on that 18 this one is 19.5 i mean i feel like that one's better higher dps hit points aren't quite as good i don't know i i feel like i feel like that one would be better what about you 1.99 better range 80 percent accuracy i i mean do we want to start is sturdy better than good i how can we uh how can i find that out it's this isn't it so well flimsy sturdy good so sturdy is not better than good do we want to get rid of anything that's sturdy as well i feel like that wouldn't be a bad idea you know just get rid of anything that's just sturdy so what have you got a sturdy short bow let me go and have you equip that one instead because it's good and that seems like it would be the right thing to do i don't know if you're going to be thrilled about me forcing you to equip that or not but it's it's what I'm doing, so you're gonna have to deal with it. Uh, it's also wait, what are you doing? What are you building right now? Are oh, you building this? Good. How many people are actually working on construction right now? Because I feel like it's just Florence. Cassandra is enjoying entertainment and also oh, I remember I had you working on your hunting so that we can get you to level ten marksman so that we can get you uh, the longbow. So that's what Cassandra's up to. And if we have a little look at, uh, at Cassandra right now, your marksman skill is almost level 10. So you will hopefully soon be able to uh, go ahead and get back to construction, which would be kind of lovely. Because if I remember right, Florence isn't as good at construction. Are you level 20 versus level 38? Yeah, that's um, that's definitely a thing. Uh, and then Allison is prioritizing mining, which I guess is fair enough. Uh, I mean, since it's clay, I don't think we need you doing that. So I'm going to have you prioritizing construction as well, since you are level 19 and perfectly capable of, uh, of constructing. I did. It was construction, right? Yeah, construction one. So that's fine. So we'll hopefully have a couple of them working on... Wait, hold on a minute. It is Allison. I, yep, Allison's working on it, so that's fine. Okay, so yeah, they can all go ahead and start working construction. We can hopefully get this all done in no time at all. We do have this research table, and I am going to say just do that forever, because that would be kind of nice to uh, keep producing those chronicles in uh, what will be a second library. And then this one was the woodwork bench, and this one was the sewing station, so that'll be okay. Then over here was the smelting furnace and smelting furnace. And I think my idea for these rooms here is to put uh, production stations at the ends of the room with sort of whatever accessories are needed kind of in this little space. So the thinking is 
is that essentially we're going to have iron ingots and gold ingots coming out of the two smelting furnaces, which eventually can play into blacksmithing. So, you know, we can have a, small, uh, a forge that will process iron into usable items. We could maybe have two of them. Uh, we can go into axes, maces, swords, etc., etc. We can also go into steel at some point as well. But that's that's all a little bit further down the line. Blacksmithing, fortunately, is something I can get with just Chronicles, though. So, uh, that'll be nice. That'll definitely be a good thing. Uh, Cassandra, you're still only level 9 on Marksman. I kind of need you to be a little bit higher on that. So, let's send you out to deal with that. And a few of those those rabbits as well. And that should get you leveled up kind of nicely. And I think it was uh, Helloissa. You were the other one that I need to level up. So you're actually already level 10. So what that makes me think. So that's a good short bow. That's a sturdy short bow. That's a good short bow and a sturdy short bow. Uh, we can't actually make the long bow right now, can we? So wooden weaponry, wooden weaponry two, fletching two is what we need. And we can go there as well if we get enough of the uh, chronicles. So we might have to do that. Stone block cutting, though, is very tempting. It's very, very tempting to uh, go into stone block cutting because, I mean, limestone brick, I don't know if we need it, but... Might not be terrible. Clay brick making. I feel like clay brick making is probably better because we are getting a lot of clay. So let's do it. Let's let's just go into it. It's it's whatever. I'm just I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna get it out of the way. Uh now we can do kilns, which is neat. I could put them out here if I really wanted to. I don't know that I want to do that. Uh we could put them in these yards as well, which might be a little weird, but then again, maybe not. There's probably not a lot else I'm going to do with these yards. So maybe that is what we do. Maybe we just have those yards have that kind of purpose for kilns and smoke houses and stuff like that. Maybe that's kind of, yeah, that might actually be kind of cool thinking about it. So let's do a little sort of kiln thing here. Uh, and we'll do another, we'll not do another one actually, we'll do smoke houses, because smoke houses is something we need too. And uh, I like the idea of sort of having these kind of random uh, structures in, in these yards. I'm going to start treating these a little bit more like gardens, I think, because putting stockpiles outside isn't really going to achieve much, you know? I don't think there's really any point in putting stockpiles outside. Because it's just going to have them wear away. Uh, these guys as well. Their production speed's 100% and that's outside. So that's fine. My worry was that maybe they are better inside. But I would doubt it. What's wrong with you guys? Not enough resources. What do you need? Is it is it a shortage of bodies by chance? I get the feeling it might be. Um, I guess we could just pause these. Wait, I don't think it's going to let me pull. Okay, we'll just cancel production for now then. Uh, we'll get those back and running at some other point. We don't really need them running right now. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan, I think. We'll go ahead and get a little kiln over here. We'll get a smokehouse there. We'll get this all built. We actually do have uh, this coming together, but it's not going to get built because that's kind of in the way. Can we get someone to move that, please? So you're enjoying entertainment right now. Can I get you to um, prioritize hauling that, if you wouldn't mind? And then maybe, Cassandra, you're hunting, but just real quick, go build that. Because that would be kind of nice, you know, getting that thing, uh, getting that into a full room, you know? So that's, yep, now a library with 120% uh, production speed on that research. We don't have any research going on right now, but, you know, that's fine. That's that's nothing to worry about. We'll get it eventually once everyone chills on their whatever they're doing. Uh, speaking of what they're doing, Cassandra, you are actually Marksman 10, so I can get you to go ahead and chill on hunting. I don't need you doing that anymore. And honestly, I mean, 
it's probably not a bad idea to let Heloisa or, or Cassandra, one or the other, uh, continue hunting to get their marksman skill up a little bit. So I'm going to let Heloisa do it. And then Cassandra is going to go back to construction as well as Florence working on uh, construction and Allison as well. So that's fine. Although, hello. Athelman wants to join us. That is fine. Welcome to Thatcham. Athelman, uh, you are fantastic at construction, which is good. You're not going to be doing much hunting. You are not bad at medicine, to be totally honest. We'll bring you up to a two. Uh, we'll bring anyone else up to a two? I don't think so. Level seven, meh, we'll keep you at two. Uh, what else are you good at? You're quite keen on carpentry. You are not good at research. Tailoring, you're okay at. Uh, mining, you are pretty, pretty decent at as well. Cooking, meh, but you have a bit of passion, so we'll kind of put that as a two. Uh, and then everything else is that. So you are primarily going to be going into construction which is fine by me. We are going to need another bed, though, so... I don't know why I said so in a weird accent there, but that's that's the way it is. Um, let's do this. Let's put a bed there and a bed there. And let's have Cassandra, if you wouldn't mind, coming over here, and uh, we'll bring the heights down a little bit. Go and prioritize constructing that bed, and you go prioritize constructing that bed so that we have both up and going so that everybody has somewhere to sleep and we have a spare bed because uh, that's going to be kind of important. Having uh, having that spare bed there just in case anybody else comes by. Also, we have so much meat sitting out here. I feel like cooking needs to be more of a priority. You know? I feel like cooking really does need to be more of a priority. And I feel like we're just going to smoke meat forever. We're just kind of going to set it to like, you know, just, just always, just always, always, always. Who is our primary cook though? Uthred. And you are gardening right now. And then Goldina, you are getting resources for, and you're preparing food. Okay. So Goldina can just continue preparing food then. And that should be fine. I think, uh, I think things are going to pick up a little bit now that we have another person in construction. Although I do have to wonder how much wood of... Oh, we have a lot of wood down here. We have 3,005. And there's more over this way. There's... Yeah, there's... There's enough wood. There's there's enough wood to build everything that I want to build here. So, you know, we can, we can get that done. Also, hello, we can get this going as well. So let's go and clear that uh, sewing station out of there. And we'll get this one running in uh, hopefully no time at all. So, Uthred is 52. How many people do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, winter clothes until we have... We have 24? Interesting. Let's do winter clothes until we have 8. Let's do summer clothes until we have... Eight. Let's do a cap until we have eight. And let's do wide straw hats until we have eight of those as well. And then let's dismantle items for cloth. And I want to make that more of a priority because my thinking is do that forever on anything that is flimsy or sturdy regardless of hit points. So that way, you know, anything that's a little bit crap is going to be torn apart and uh, recycled, essentially. And I think that's that's probably for the best. Uh, we have a little, what is this? A little sturdy short bow. Okay, well, that should probably get recycled too, right? So let's just make that a priority. Um, anything that is flimsy or sturdy, regardless of hit points. And we're going to do that forever. So we're just going to start dismantling things that aren't good or better. Because I feel like at this point we can do that. I feel like at this point that's that's safe enough to do. So that's what we're going to do. One thing I have done is decided on a bit of a change of schedule here. So that we actually have staggered leisure time in the middle of the day. So that they're not necessarily going to be... 
you know, all fighting to get a seat here at the end of the day, then kind of going and doing whatever for an hour and then going to bed. I've also shifted the sleeping time by an hour. So they now all go to bed at uh, 11 o'clock, waking up at five o'clock or a little bit later, but that's, that's the mandatory sleep time. And I think that'll be pretty good. I'm also thinking I'm going to do a mandatory three hours of work either side of the leisure hour. I, I feel like that's not unreasonable to do for everybody so that they're actually kind of, you know, gonna, I guess, work, you know, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna actually do some good work during the day. That's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I am, I mean, they already are, they're already doing a great job, you know, like this is done, which is kind of a big deal. We have a, uh, a workshop there. We have a, a library there. We have a workshop there. This one's coming together. It's not like they're not working, you know, we've got these cool little shacks, which is neat and all, but, uh, a little bit more, a little bit more work would be good. Getting this place done would be fantastic. So, you know, hopefully that's what'll happen. Also, research is going ahead. So I think the next thing I'm probably going to do is I probably will get a stonemason's bench and start looking into limestone brick because I think that's going to be pretty good. Defensive structures would be cool as well, but I just, I, I don't think we need it. Uh, Fletching 2, actually, that longbow. Maybe saving up to get that instead of stone brick cutting would be better. Or armor. Or cooking. But cooking needs iron ingots, and we don't have any of these guys built yet. So I think Fletching 2, I, I do think those longbows are kind of what I'm most excited about. Because to be totally... That looks weird. That's a weird animation, the way that works. That was very strange. Um, okay. So this needs fuel and iron ingot or iron nuggets. How many of those do we have? Eight. All right. Let's just produce iron ingots forever, I guess. It's going to take a little while for that to happen. We don't have any iron ingots right now. But I think my plan is going to be to just mine this out and eventually just keep sort of going underground because I don't know when exactly we do get towards limestone. Also, I could technically build like a tunnel that goes over here and I think that would be kind of cool as like an emergency exit, but that also might be a really major uh, security breach, I guess. I, I don't I don't really know how it works. I don't really, I don't really fully understand this game yet. Is that clay? Is there any way for me to know what that is? I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, I guess we could mine further down. That's, that's always an option. That's, that's clay right there. So if I, if I go up, are there like cliffs or hills or something I can mine it? What is, what does limestone look like? Is, is my question. Okay, so that's limestone there, which is neat. And then that is iron, which is also pretty cool. So that makes, what is, what is this? This is clay. So if I was to go and say, let's, let's mine this out. Let's just kind of mine all of that, right? And that'll hopefully get me some iron. So that, that'll be good. We can go and mine out other things too, perhaps? I don't I don't really know. Um, what is this? Settlers are exhausted. That's probably okay. Uh, we have iron here as well. It's a pretty good iron vein, that. So let's mine that chunk of land out. That's a clay deposit. I, I guess that's kind of what we do is we just mine out these veins of, of iron and limestone and stuff like that. I don't really want to just completely, you know, ruin the terrain though. So I'm thinking I do want to go underground, uh, like over here and see what we can do. But I, I think I need to clear this out first before we turn it into a, a massive quarry. Cause that's kind of what I'm going to turn it into. And I'm, I'm thinking something sort of Lord of the Rings-ish, 
with my uh, with my quarry here. So I'm going to eventually surround this thing in spikes and uh, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, that'll, that'll it'll look cool. It's just going to be a minute before it happens. Um, we'll clear that bit out. We'll clear that bit out. We'll take that corner out. That'll be a way down. And then eventually the rest of it will look kind of interesting as well. That's just going to get us a whole bunch of clay. And I'm just going to gradually go deeper and deeper and deeper with this thing until it looks like a really cool quarry. So that's kind of the plan there. It's just going to take a while. Also, this is slowly coming together and it actually looks kind of cool. And I'm actually kind of pleased with it. I'm not going to lie. It makes me really happy seeing this thing, you know, almost finished. That's, that's cool. That, that makes me happy. And just like that, this is all done and actually looks really cool. I'm, I'm kind of pleased with this. Oh, hello. What timing? Hello, we got a raid coming in. Okay. So it's going to be a pretty, what have we got? Nine enemies. They've got some armor. They've got some archers with longbows. They have two archers with longbows. That's a bit of a worry. Um, you don't actually have a weapon right now. Are you any good? Uh, you are a decent marksman, so that's alright. Let's... I'm gonna take a chance here. I'm gonna say that this guy's gonna need... He's... he's... oh no. Um... <laughs> you can wear whatever you want, bud. You, you can... you can... you can put your clothes back on. You don't have to... Just... just... buddy, do me a favor. Um, if you wouldn't mind. Just... go ahead and put that back on. If you wouldn't mind. There we go. I need you to go and get a bow, definitely, uh, of some sort. That's sturdy. I need a good one, preferably. That's a good one. Not a lot of hit points, though. What about that one? That's a good one. Go equip that as quick as you can. Now, where is this raid coming in from? That's that. Where Where is the raid? The raid's at the at that end of things. Okay. Let's get Allison, Cassandra, and Heloisa recruited and up here. Actually, Cassandra there. Allison there. Heloisa there. Then I need the rest of the soldiers down here. And you really need to hurry up and get back and get yourself a uh, get yourself a bow. Now, the enemies have started their attack. That's okay. Because my thinking is... What are you doing? Why are you going that way? That's that's a little ridiculous. Okay. Um, Is there a bow in there? There's that one. It's only sturdy, but it'll do. Buddy, I need you to go get that one. If you wouldn't mind. Uh, now, the attack's going that way. That's all right. My archers should be able to fire from the wall, right? Yes, they can. Good. Fire on that guy. Let's see if we can take him down. We almost did. Fire on this guy. And let's see. So that's... Okay, so we're doing we're doing good damage. Two of them are dead already. Uh, so let's have you guys focus on Oswald, who's a little bit further away. And you guys on the ground focus on this guy. Let's just focus on taking that one down. Uh, ooh, we're getting slightly surrounded here. Take out Will. Where's, where's Watts' face? Where's, where are you? You are, where are you? You're here. What are you doing? You're drinking. That's not very helpful, but I'm not going to lie. Kind of need you on the walls. Uh, you guys out here, what are you doing? Are we all still up on, and uh, on our feet? I think we are. Let's hit this guy actually no oswald right in the middle there hit him let's try and take him down if we maybe can what are you doing oh i don't want you running away i kind of need that guy to go down as well all right uh then this guy you three could probably change position and start firing at this guy as well because that might just get them to flee it didn't ah uh, that's gonna be a problem i need you I, I need you to go out there. I need my archers to go out there. I need you guys. Florence, I'm going to unrecruit you and have you try to carry. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, did we lose anybody? 
I think only Anwind got uh, properly hurt there. So that's that's okay. Let's allow everything. Let's select everybody and recruit and then unrecruit. Florence is going to do that. No, Florence is going to run away. That's not really what I need you doing. Kind of need you to go and save Anwind there. And then Allison is fine. You're going to go tend to Uthred's wounds is what you're going to do. In fact... Anwind, are you losing, uh, are you losing HP? I don't know if you are, but I think we should maybe have you tended to first. I think that's probably going to be for the best. Florence, I really don't think you should be running out and doing anything, but, uh, you, you do you, boo-boo, I guess. That's, that's, that's fine. Uh, who else needs a bit of help here? So Florence wanted new clothes. That's all right, I guess. Uh, Allison, again, if you wouldn't mind dealing with Florence's wounds. Or Florence has other ideas. Fair enough. Drinking, specifically. I, I respect it, you know. I'll, I'll take it. You know, a good, a good drink can sometimes calm the soul. So I guess that's what's going on there. I, uh, I'm not, I'm not really gonna judge. I will say, I'm kind of looking forward to this all being mined out. Because once this is all mined out, I'm going to put spikes around this whole thing. I'm going to make it look mean. And uh, I'm just going to keep going down level by level, essentially. That's that's kind of the whole plan, is go down level by level. And uh, eventually, we'll, in theory, hit uh, limestone, right? That's, that's kind of the idea. It might take a little while, but we'll get there.